Big question. People that I've talked to that was here in this jailhouse itself, and they asked them, what was you here for? She said, well, either I said something wrong, or I belonged to the wrong group, or because there's what they call the Issei Nisei Kibes. And the Kibes was the one that was born in the U.S. and went to Japan, was educated. They were American citizen, and they came back. And actually, they were indoctrinated in the Japan way because they spent all their childhood, adult, well, actually, adolescent ages. When they got out of high school, most of them came back to the United States. So they really didn't know the American way of life because they were grown, because their grandparents, uncle, aunties raised them over there. And meantime, the parents sent the money to support them over there. Now, when they came over here, they had the language skill of Japanese and Japanese culture, so they were picked on because they couldn't speak the English as well as us. So naturally, the key bays were very strongly picked on because the majority of the people that was here that I talked to were key bays. I guess this is because I was a key bay and one fellow that I knew that he actually built this jail, he worked on his jail, and he was put in this jail. <laughs> so I asked him, how come? You know, he says, I don't know. He says, I'm a Kibe and I didn't speak too good English. And then I, I, I wasn't in part of the group at all, but I was in contact with them. And that's the only reason why I was put in here. He said, but he said, he's stuck in here for quite a few days. One of the places here that was marked here, one guy was here for 200 some odd days in the jail. He had marks and then there was a log that he wrote. So. There were some people that were stuck here for, and for what reason? Nothing. They had no uh, case against them or anything. Just that belonging and being Kibe was the factor for a lot of them. So, hard to say.